Hello guys, today we're going to have a look at the PC400 model again. The last time you seen us make these little uh, couplings for to connect the first half of the screw motor to the uh, well to the actual gear motor itself. So uh, today we're going to figure out how to mount the motor to the boom here. So I I've said before I want to mount them something like this so that I can just uh, unbolt the motor and replace it with a different motor if it turns out that this one's maybe too slow or it's not strong enough uh, whatever it is there's a huge amount of variation in these motors like we seen in the other video you, could, you have a wide choice of motors so since it's so easy to change them I'm gonna make it easy to change them on the model too so I'm just gonna make a coupling to bolt the motor in place something like that and we're also going to try and finish this screw mechanism here so we need to come up with some way of attaching the end of the screw mechanism to this this uh, mechanism here so we have to put a bolt through there and somehow connect that to our screw mechanism When I mounted the screw motor in the half pipe trailer, I used some copper wire. So I'm going to try that again. I have a bunch of uh, one millimeter copper wire here, and I'm going to form it into a, a shape that will let me uh, make a little coupling here when I solder it all together. So that's the plan. It'll just take a little bit of work to bend it into shape and to get it soldered onto the brass here. And I have to be careful soldering onto the brass that we don't get solder into any of the gears. Because uh, if we get even a speck of solder in there, it would destroy the motor. So you have to be pretty careful. Okay, so I've made a little bit of a, a bracket to hold the motor. I've I started off with a little bit of wire in this uh, hole here and brought it around, wrapped it around the motor and wrapped it around uh, a nail here which is the right dimensions for the hole there and back through the hole on the other side so that just sits in there the nail goes through and that's our motor fixed in place now I need to solder all of this to strengthen it all up because at the minute it's pretty weak it's not gonna hold anything but if I put enough solder around it it should be pretty rock solid I can solder the copper to the brass uh, casing of the gear motor there solder all of this up pretty strong so that it's pretty rigid uh, the only thing you have to be careful of this this uh, nail is mild steel so you can solder to it so it's a bad bad choice for the center of this but I can always just solder this up if it gets uh, clogged up with solder I'll just drill out, the, drill out the hole again to 3mm and we should be good to go so that's the next thing, solder all this make it all a bit more rigid ok so there's our little bracket uh, on the motor it's pretty solid, should be good enough to uh, support the motor when it's under load So. That just goes in there like that, and our motor can move up and down, that's no problem. It's not going to need to move that far, it's only going to need to move kind of like this here, kind of. So, that's that part. So now we need to sort out the screw mechanism, well, the screw end of it, I suppose. This, uh, I need to come up with an attachment for the end here. So, obviously, we can't we can't just make something that we tread into it because this, this bar is going to be under pressure as it's screwing so it'll just screw itself out of there so what I might do is flatten a, an end piece on this treaded bar and uh, wrap it around well wrap it around one of these nails again I guess and that should fix it in place and with any look that might not be easy to do but we'll, we'll give it a go and see it might just the bar might just break when we try to uh, 
and we tried to bend it around the, the bolt or around the nail here but I think that's the simplest option at the minute because like I said before we can't solder to this so we'll see if we can bend it around the nail and have it fixed in like that okay so as expected the bar just broke when we flattened it out and tried to bend it so the new plan is to cut a few grooves in the bar there at different angles and tightly wrap copper wire around it solder it all together and see if that will hold uh, it should be should be pretty solid once once it's all soldered together but there's only one way to find out and that's just to give it a go okay so I wrapped the copper around it and soldered it on so that should uh, give us quite a bit of motion now uh, one thing I'd say, if you're doing something like this and you happen to have 3mm holes, getting 2.8mm nails is ridiculously useful. It's just very handy for uh, putting, putting these things together for a quick test instead of having to you know, have all your bolts prepared. So, let's just... So, that will sit in there, something like that, and just move like that. With any luck, that will be strong enough for the job. Uh, the only thing now is to cut it to length, and then we can test it out. Okay, well here's everything connected up. I have the uh, motor fixed in place. Uh, the other end of the screw mechanism is fixed in place. And we've put the bucket back on, so now I'll just give it a bit of power. And that that seems to be fast enough uh, I just need to test out the power but because this motor is so easy to change I'll just build the rest of the model and we'll test the power out properly by actually trying to dig something or use the, the excavator so I have to go and do all the rest of these um, all the rest of these screw mechanisms now I need to finish them all off and then connect it all up and should be able to finish off the, the rest of the boom I've one of the motors added here there's nothing on the far side here so we're just going to test how strong this first motor is can it lift the boom on its own and uh, there's a box here just to just to add counterweight for the boom Okay, so it goes down without any problem, obviously. So obviously with one motor, it can lift the boom, no problem. But we'll add the second motor anyway, because uh, it will just give us that extra bit of power if we need it. Okay, I have the two motors added up now, and I've just temporarily wired it all up so that we can see how it uh, how it functions. So I just go through the different motions of the boom.
So there you go, that's all the different motors tested out. It seems to be working pretty well. I have a couple of little things to finish off, but that's pretty much it. I need to make the pins obviously for the different uh, parts of the boom. Well that's all for today. I think the next thing I'll be working on will be the slew mechanism for this model. If uh, if you're interested in seeing that, make sure and subscribe so you don't you don't miss that video. Uh, if you have any comments or any suggestions, you can post them below, post them in the forum, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. And that's it, really. So thanks very much for watching.